You guys watched my last video? Bet, cause uh, since then, I found out a lot about lag switch and I found out exactly how they do it, the software that they use, and who some of the people are. I've really pissed off the lag switching community, which by the way, I didn't know was a thing. In my last video, I was doing some investigating. I even built my own personal lag switch. Okay, the setup is almost a million times better than I could have possibly anticipated. My PS4 is down there, modem is here, and the switch lands right where I could use it. Lag switch worked perfectly, except I realized that's not how they lag up entire playgrounds. And based on the information that I have, it would be impossible for 2K to not have known that this was happening. All right, let's get started. So as process of elimination, let's do some problem solving. They were lagging up the 2K server, which meant Somehow, some way, they were attacking the server. Now for me, the complicated part was, it was described to me as a lag switch. A lag switch is just you turning off and on your own connection. I didn't understand how me turning off my connection and turning it back on would somehow lag other people. I even said this in my last video. So, how do you do that? I mean, there's one way you could do a DDoS attack, but DDoS attacks bring down the whole network. And they're expensive, and they're most definitely illegal. So that's not it. So I didn't think that people would be stupid enough to do that. I crossed it off my list of potential possibilities. So let me break this down. In essence, these delayers or lag switchers use some type of program to grab the IP of the 2K server that they're on. So if I load into a park, you're connected to a server that's hosted by 2K. All they're doing is getting the IP of that server. Once you have the IP, you can send and believe it or not, this is actually what they do, which by the way, would make it illegal and punishable. It's a f***ing felony. They DDoS 2K servers, not to the point where the whole network collapses, like you might see sometimes where hackers might throw a DDoS attack on the FBI website, for example. They do it just enough so that the game either lags up or is heavily delayed and the latency increases. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot make this stuff up. Remember when I said this in my last video? If 2K has dedicated servers, what you're basically doing is you're stressing 2K servers to the point where everybody lags like crazy intermittently whenever you want it to, right? It makes sense. For them to slow down the game, add latency, and or to lag NBA 2K on the playground, they would have to somehow alter the speed of the server or the responsiveness of the server. The only way to do that is to attack the server and to send a DDoS attack. For those of you who don't know what a DDoS attack is, it's pretty simple. Let's say that we're playing Fortnite, you have 200 HP. Let's say that I hit you with a snipe that does 2000 damage. That would f you up pretty bad. It would mess you up so much that like the whole server would go down. You would crash and you wouldn't work. It would take a while for you to reboot and get everything working again. But they're not shooting a 2000 damage sniper, they're shooting like a 175 damage sniper. And so it doesn't destroy the network, you're still alive, but it slows it down dramatically. And they do it at the flick of a switch, so on your offensive possessions, they can lag you out the building, but on defense, turn the switch off and everything is fine. I can't believe that it's 2018 and this is happening. So I sent some messages to the relevant personnel at 2K and I was told that we're gonna get someone on it which, by the way, I've heard before plenty of times from LD2K when he used to be the community manager. And all that really means is that they pass the information along. But whether or not 2K does something to mitigate the issue that is growing is up to 2K. Of they have delayed in the beginning of their name. <laughs> like They move in like a movement. I have to message one of them, be like, yo, put me on the list. Let me live. And they like, okay, you should be There's fine. a list of people that live. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah, man. Oh my God. So that means that if people are actively attacking 2K servers, the tech support at 2K knows it's happening. You don't get a job working at 2K and can't see a DDoS attack, right? If your server is lagging up all of a sudden, hey, hey, I have a question. Why is server number 59 that's hosting this playground lagging every 30 seconds? That's really odd. So you might be wondering, Agent, how do they figure out who's doing it? They can't. If you're smart and you're doing something illegal like this, what you would do is you would create a VPN and then you would run a proxy through that VPN so 2K would never get your actual IP. I think you, you could definitely run VPNs on PS4s, I think. But if you happen to be a guy named delayed underscore snags, 
and the fact that you delay is in your name, you're almost snitching on yourself. What am I gonna do? Guys, I'm smiling because I didn't think people could get this low, this stupid. Let me, let's show you, let's, guys, hold on. Is it illegal to DDoS? Hmm. National Crime Agency DDoS attacks are illegal. All right, that's a start. Let's see how illegal these things are. So this is a UK website, but it works about the same for Canada and the United States. I checked. The NCA and the police take cybercrime super seriously. If you become involved in cybercrime, you could face the following consequences. Having your computers taken away and your internet access restricted, paying a penalty or a fine, a significant prison sentence, all right, a criminal record, this could affect your education, future career prospects, and ability to travel overseas. So in my last video when I said that, when I brought up the idea that it could be DDoS, but nobody would be that stupid, is because I assumed that everybody knew the potential risks and doing something like that, and obviously winning a game of 2K is never that important. Let's not call this a lag switch no more. They're not lag switching anything. They're sending DDoS attacks to 2K servers actively, and so far they're getting away with it. On the last video, I brought up the idea of them being IP banned. People are like, Agent, but that's not really possible. And I was like, how about if we console ban them? And then you're like, but then if they do this and this, they can get around that. C close their account. These are tryhards we're talking about. They have hundreds and hundreds of dollars of my players on their account. 2K, you've banned people for sending 30K MT to another individual. These guys are attacking your servers and have all of their players intact. We need some consistency here. Either you unban the people that you're banning for the most minuscule offenses, or across the board, we see some objectivity when it comes to who's getting these bans. What I don't understand is why people would want to ruin the gaming experience of of everybody. What do you, I don't get what you gain from doing this to begin with. If the person knows it's happening, they can still maneuver around the lagging situation. Because remember, 2K has dedicated servers. So if you're gonna DDoS, your connection is getting messed up too. So if we're both lagging, is can you defend me lagging better than I can score lagging? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lagging, lagging, it's lagging. Stop moving your stick, stop moving your stick. <sighs> yeah, Dude, baby. And with the blow buys and MEA 2K, all you really have to do is hold up on the left stick in order to, and there's a good chance I'm just gonna blow by you. I don't understand the logic and I'm troubling to understand it. There was a couple people, there was actually more than a couple people that were pissed off about my last video. They were like, Agent, how could you use a lag switch in the past, but then now when people are using lag switches, you're mad. First of all, what they're doing is not a lag switch. We just established they're DDoSing. I would never cross that territory. Second of all, I fully said it was in retaliation to the dickheads abusing it. If I buy a gun, place it in my house, shotgun in my bedroom, I don't plan on killing people with it. But if you so happen to come in my house and steal my shit without me knowing and you're a burglar, chances are, my guy, you're taking one to the chest. It's the same thinking. I actually didn't think it was gonna escalate to this level. And I hope that 2K wasn't just fluffing me or get like, deflecting me when they said that they were gonna get someone on it, we need to get someone on it. If anything, there at least has to be a way to report these players so that if it's happening, 2K knows and their account could get banned or something could be done. At the end of the day, we wanna play a basketball game and have fun. Who are you to take away that fun from somebody else? Because you wanna ruin that experience. You don't just let them sit around all pretty and then let the, the situation escalate to the point where it's a catastrophe. That's not how you handle it. All right, that's it. That's really all I wanted to say. Um, click on one of these two videos on the screen. We dropped a new podcast about LeBron going to the Lakers and our podcasts are now on Spotify. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you didn't watch it. And uh, so do one of the three. Watch the podcast or these two videos. I'm out. Peace.